Hey, what up, Internet? It's me, Ronald, and uh, today I have decided to make uh, my very first video tutorial. Since there's a lot of you guys have asked me kung ano software yung ginagamit ko for my personal architectural projects, which is Autodesk or uh, Revit. And in this video, I will be doing a tutorial for uh, for the beginners like me and to those who gusto maglearn ng Revit software. And since in the Philippines, uh, most of us kasi, we use AutoCAD. Um, and it's because uh, we think or we, we find AutoCAD uh, more friendly use. User friendly? Use, yeah, user friendly? Yeah, user friendly than other softwares. If you compare uh, Revit versus AutoCAD, AutoCAD is a 2D drafting. 2D lang siya. Whereas yung Revit is it is a 3D modeling. Like for example, if you want to draw a plan, you can also draw um, other views, elevation sections, 3Ds simultaneously. So pwede magkasabay in one file. So yun yung greatest advantage niya. But it always depends kung saan kayo mas uh, comfortable na gamitin. Well, anyways, too much for that, so let's get it on. Alright, first thing to do is open up your Revit software. And then uh, since we're going to make a basic structure, uh, let's go to Models and uh, click New. And let's select that template, Architectural Template, and hit OK. Alright, so before we do, or before we draw something, let me explain to you a bit of the content of uh, the Revit software. So we have toolbar here sa taas and a toolbar sa baba. And we have uh, project browser sa left and properties window uh, sa right. So on purpose on project browser, this is where we can locate your drawings like the plants, sections, elevations, etc. It's properties, dito tayo mag -e edit ng settings for your drawings like um yung windows doors walls dito siya yeah edit okay then sa toolbar uh, we have architecture tab structures steel systems insert annotate etc so under architecture mostly ito yung ginagamit natin like for architects ha, uh ito yung mostly ginagamit natin to draw like sa walls doors uh windows roof ceiling etc and uh if we put some annotation we, let's just go to annotate so nandito yung mga text dimensions uh, field region or hatches and then sa view tab naman we can find here uh, that the uh, tags like elevation tags section lines or cuts callouts etc so basically yung naming naman ng mga tabs na ito are very understandable okay so don't get overwhelmed with them so let's get started so let's say for example we're going to make a six by eight building or structure let's click on wall and uh my options then dito sa taas on what type of line you're going to use a single line a rectangle so let's use rectangle to make it a little faster okay so if you click one of the walls you may notice that yung unit na ginagamit niya is feet so we're gonna change that to meters or millimeters since it yun yung unit na ginagamit natin sa philippines so let's go to manage tab click on pro project units change the format unit from feet to millimeters also the area change to square meters okay and then okay so paano natin going six by eight to that's very easy. Just click one wall. Automatically, my lalabas talaga yung dimension niya. So let's just click on that value and type in the the value or the length of your building. Let's say, for example, it's eight thousand. So that's eight thousand. And then uh, for the width of the building, click the vertical line or the vertical wall and change this dimension to six thousand. But there's also another other way how to type in 
or to change dimensions uh, you can just click 6 and type in M that's 6 meters equivalent to 6,000 millimeters then hit enter so ganun siya kabilis next is uh, we're gonna put a doors and windows so let's go back to architecture tab click door ta a door icon and uh, put some window a doors here and there so if you want to change the orientation of the doors it is very easy just click on that a door specific door there are arrows that you can uh, click change its um, orientation also other process is you can just click on that door and then um, hit or, or press spacebar on your keyboard so gonna look. next let's add windows window there window here here and there there you go next um, we are gonna put or place a floor just click on our texture and then um, sorry hold on let me do that again go to architecture and click floor icon and then it's gonna add it will ask you to create a boundary so let's create a boundary using rectangle it, let's say for example this is your floor so once you do that under level one automatically uh, based on level one so just click or hit check so yun siya, naka-highlight na yung nagawa yung floor. And then, uh, next is how to make a roof. So, just go to level 2. Since dun tayo magbe-base nung uh, roof natin. For example, just for example. So, uh, let go back to architecture and click roof icon and then create a boundary. And then, um, since my eaves sha or overhang, we have to offset these lines outward. So, how to do that? Just press O plus spacebar on your keyboard. And then, you can change the offset value here. Let's say, for example, um, your overhang is 1 meter or 1,000. And then when copy is checked uh, that means it's still gonna make it's just gonna make copy of lines but since we don't want that we uncheck this one to avoid copying lines right because we're making a boundary but there's also one way to upset them all together at one time so just move your cursor to one of the lines and then make sure that the, the guide the hidden line guide is outward not inward and then once your cursor is on that line just press or hit tab on your keyboard so maga highlight yung buong lines which means na select niya na lahat yung lines na yun. and then just left click boom and then there you go so what are these triangles these triangles actually are the slope of each segment for example uh, gagawa tayo ng hip roof kailangan may uh, slope each yung segment na to and you can change them by clicking one segment and then click on that value and change it for example 3 so ganun lang mag change ng value ng slope of the roof now, f let's say for example instead of uh, hip we're gonna make a gable roof so we are gonna remove the slope of this one and that one so just uncheck define slope so wala na siyang triangle then hit ok so ito yung usual na magpa pop up si Revit kung you want to attach those highlighted walls to the roof so since yun naman yung goal natin to attach those walls to the roof, click attach. So if we go to 3D, nasa taas siya. Ayan na siya. Attached na yung walls. 
For example, hindi natin attach. So, ganito yung itsura niya. Um, there. Ganyan yung itsura niya. So, what if na, hindi nyo siya na-attach? So, very easy. Just click uh, w- the walls. Or, yan. Click attach. And then, click the roof. So, ganun lang siya ka-easy. Paano ma-determine yung height ng roof? Okay. Since my level sa level 2 tayo naka-base, so we are gonna check kung kung anong value or ang or ang height ng level 2. So basically makikita mo siya sa 3D din. Yung current level niya or height is 3048 or 3 meters, more than 3 meters. If ever na gusto niyong gawing uh, 3 meters, you just have to change the value to 3 meters. There you go. So automatically bababa din yung level ng roof. So, there you go, guys. This is how easy and fast to create a model or a drawing using Revit. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and at least learned a little bit. And if you guys have a specific topic that you want to talk about, uh, please leave your comments and suggestions. And I would really greatly appreciate that. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more updates and more 